This is Dan Seifer with The Verge, and I'm here in New York City where Microsoft has just announced the Surface Pro 3, the latest in its line of tablet-laptop combination computers. The Surface Pro 3 is an entire revamp of the Surface Pro 2. It's thinner, lighter, and bigger than before. Microsoft has increased the screen size up to 12 inches and given it a 21 by 60 by 1440 pixel resolution. Microsoft is saying that's 38% bigger than the Surface Pro 2, and it is significantly noticeable when you hold it in your hand. But at the same time, the company has made it thinner and lighter. It's actually strikingly light when you pick it up and remarkably thin for what it is. Inside, the Surface Pro 3 uses a core i3, i5, or i7 processor. The hinge has been upgraded to a new fluid type of hinge. It allows you to position the Surface Pro 3 at any angle that you'd like, and it allows it to go all the way down to 150 degrees so you can write on it with your hand. Uh, writing has been greatly improved with the new Surface Pen, which works with Microsoft's OneNote uh, software to do a bunch of different tricks with writing on the screen itself, including palm rejection and character recognition and all kinds of things that make easier to write on a screen. The new type cover has been improved with a larger, better to use trackpad. It's got a backlit screen now. The keyboard has been improved for typing as well, yet it still gives it the same thin dimensions as before. The Surface Pro 3 with its type pad cover is still the thinnest core laptop that you can get on the market. Of course, it's got a full touch screen as well as access to all of Microsoft's Windows 8 apps. But the real push here is to replace the laptop that you have and the tablet in your bag into one converged device. Pricing for the Surface Pro 3 starts at $799 for a Core i3 model, and it's actually going on sale tomorrow, though you can place a pre-order today.